In this video, we're going to be using Hag's Conclusion and the Car of Christopher Bradley Aluminum Razor with the F-Plate. Stay tuned. Hey there folks and welcome back for another video. I'm your host CDB and thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. As always, before we get into the content, a word from our sponsor, Leaf. This video is brought to you by our good friends at Leaf, and you know I love Leaf products. I love using the Leaf, which you've seen me use many, many times on the channel. I also love using the Twig. You've seen that a lot on the channel as well. If you'd like to save 5%, use discount code IMCDB right there and save 5% while shopping with the good folks at Leaf. And now, back to the video. And all right, we are back and welcome in today. Welcome in. We have a good one for you today, I believe. Today we're going to be using for the first time a hag soap and this soap is out of Greece and this one is Conclusion and I love the artwork on the label there. It's kind of PAA-ish. I think uh, this one comes to you for $23.99 for 4.02 ounces and on a cost chart there that's pricey at $5.96 an ounce. We give that a score of 2 out of 5 but keep in mind this soap is coming all the way from Greece so some of the cost is definitely going to be in the shipping. The scent on this is amazing. I absolutely love it. I'm going to put the scent description for you on the screen right there. This is inspired by Emporio Armani Stronger With You, and it is fantastic. I love it. I don't think I've ever smelled that fragrance before, but I love it. In terms of scent quality, for me, 5 out of 5. It is really good. Scent strength is right in that solidly medium range. We give that a score of 4 out of 5. And the ease on, of use on this one was really nice. Maybe I just got lucky. But the first time I got an amazing lather super easily, five out of five on ease of use. I'll show you a lather shot right there. I was amazed actually at how easy <laughs> it whipped up into a nice creamy lather. So maybe it was just luck for the first time because normally when you use the soap for the first time, you got to kind of work to dial it in. But this was amazing, I have to say, and the scent just fantastic. By the way, this is a vegan base soap. I'll put the ingredients for you on the screen right there. And we're really looking forward to using this today because the scent was nice. The ease of use was nice. The artwork on the label is nice. And also, let me show you, it does have the ingredients on the side. It's got the name and the brand right here. But on the back, it's also got a little scent meter right here with the, um, it says vegan base and also the scent notes, which I think is pretty cool. The intensity, intensity meter there is probably a little bit generous. I don't think it's almost all the way up to high. I put it more in the mid-range, but it's a pretty cool feature putting that the notes and that meter on the bottom. That I like that. That's pretty nice. All right. The razor for today is the legendary Carve, as Justin the Red Island Shaver would say. This is the Christopher Bradley Aluminum Razor, and I have the F-plate rolling here in this today with a Gillette Nasset blade on its second use. This runs about $82 from Carve, and it is amazing. Uh, the knurling on this is fantastic. I just love Carve razors. And the Christopher Bradley, to me, I know the, the Overlander is out now and people are all over that, but I still love the Christopher Bradley. Tons of plate options. You can find something that you like most likely. And I love the top too with the tabs out there. I don't know. I've always loved Christopher Bradley razor since I found the plates that I enjoy, which are in the higher range for me. All right, let's get into it. Enough yapping today. Today is another hospital visit day for me. So we're looking forward to that. And let's start by misting the face. By the way, I will list all the products below, including this mister. And also I have tutorials for lathering. I get asked, mm, usually a couple times a week uh, about lathering and those are always in the description of the video below in the comments area where all the links are to the products and so on so please check that out and today we're using our HCNC bowl I've been going back and forth to see which bowl I prefer lathering in um, this one or the Cayune uh, uh, bowl and uh, I will be making a video on that when time permits but right now I'm just so busy with uh, you know trying to Look after my mom and dad, prepare meals here, go visit my mom at the hospital or stay there all day. Uh, just, I just haven't had time to do it, but I will be doing it because I do have thoughts and I want to share them. Oh man, I tell you what, the scent on this is fantastic. This will be a best of 22 cent for me. I love this. I think this is fantastic. Now, I got this soap, by the way, from the razor company, but I, I believe it was sold out when I went back to look the other day. So you may not be able to get it right now, but perhaps Jason, if he happens to see this video, we'll be watching and let us know whether he plans to make another order from Hags because this one is fantastic. It will definitely be my best of 22, 22 cents. It's just one of those that really grabs me. And I liked it when I smelled it during the unboxing, but now that I've got it lathered, I love it. I mean, I was lathering it and it was just filling the room and I was like, man, 
this scent is bonkers. I don't know why it hasn't been done before. <laughs> or maybe it has and I just don't know it. That's entirely possible, but this is very nice and I was really surprised at the ease of use. Because a lot of times our vegan soaps will sort of fluff up on you. At first this one did not. It went creamy right away. So this was a very good uh, vegan base. Uh, it's a very good base generally, I think. All right. Let's get going with our Christopher Bradley Carve today, and we'll hope to have an excellent shave and an excellent day, and I hope the same for you today. Let me know below what did you use, and how did it go? Was it, did it meet your expectations? Was it fantastic? Um, because that's sort of the goal, isn't it? If you're a hobbyist or you're just now discovering this as sort of a hobby, the goal is to really have fun and enjoy those shaves and, and make it take it from something that was monotonous like oh i gotta shave you know to ooh, i get to shave you know because that's that's the world i live in every day it's like i'm ready to shave it's awesome you know and for me that's fantastic this is one of the high points of my day and before uh you know before 10 years ago when i started doing this if you would have told me you're going to enjoy shaving it's going to be one of the high points of not only your day but your life i'd say what are you smoking? <laughs> but, uh, boy, how things have changed since I've discovered traditional shaving. Not only that, but the people, you folks who comment and give kind words. And I appreciate all of you who have been steadfast in uh, giving me those kind words and support. I can't tell you how much it means. It really does mean a lot, and that is not lip service. So thank you very much. It really, it's uplifting to hear that positive those positive messages and feedback and well wishes and you know I've gotten messages from vendors I get messages now and then from Mel from Melly Mel Shaves um, they'll just send a text and say stay strong brother you know support your mother she needs you we need you and that stuff is just I don't know it just keeps you going you know and so this is definitely a bright spot uh, for me and by the way don't forget I um, I did announce another giveaway yesterday and that one is on the video with the Razorock Switch version 2. So if you haven't entered that giveaway, go get in that. We would like everybody to participate or as many people as possible. Oh man, that's nice. So the aluminum uh, carve, of course, is very light, which you would expect from aluminum. But it's a great, great little shaver. Absolutely love it. And this soap, uh, I gotta say, I, I am very impressed. Um, and a lot of times you don't know what to expect the first time you use the soap. But I have to say, no buyer's remorse here. Um, even at, you know, $5.96 an ounce, almost six bucks. The scent on this one is so good, no buyer's remorse. And you know me, I don't like to spend any more than I have to because I'm buying a lot of stuff, you know. Just because you spend a lot and you're buying a lot of stuff doesn't, want, doesn't mean you want to just waste money and spend frivolously, you know. You still want good value. And I have to say, I am completely happy with this soap and if they had a, a, a splash I would buy it for sure I don't know if they do or don't I have no idea not bombs because I just don't like bombs bombs are not for me um, and I want to touch on something now that I'm thinking about it I heard David touch on it the other day and you know I know there's a lot of there's been a lot of commenting back and forth these days about alcohol splash versus non-alcohol and I use both but I prefer alcohol and I'll tell you why I like splash more traditional and alcohol is typically in a traditional splash. And I think we already have things like bombs. If you really need skin conditioning, use the bomb. Let's not make our splashes bombs or substitute for bombs. Let's keep our splashes traditional. And I'm not saying that I'm not criticizing anybody who doesn't make alcohol splashes. Don't get me wrong. But I like the tradition of it. I like the feel of it. And then if you want to follow up with a bomb, you know, do that. But I, I have, I don't think we should be going the route of making uh, aftershave splashes bombs just use bomb bomb you know there's place for both there's a place for the nice traditional aftershave with a little alcohol in there and then there's a place for bomb for skin conditioning and so on and so for, from my perspective I love using um, you know alcohol based splash however it's not the only thing I'll use I'll use the witch hazel based ones but the ones that are milky and so on and they tend to get a little oily i don't like splashes like that too much i'll use them but it's like eh. so you know there's a place for the splash and there's a place for the bomb but let's leave the splashes as they are and then use bombs and the skin elixirs and all the other things that artisans make 
to give you that really nice skin conditioning. Now I realize some people will agree with that because some people just want that, you know, those uh, um, bombs and so on. But for me, the traditional splash is still king. However, I think there's a place for the skin elixirs and all the other things they make the bombs too. And I think it's the great thing about it is just give us those choices, you know. I hope artisans will just continue to give us the, the old fashioned splash and then the bombs as well. But one thing that I have to say is I've heard a lot of people that are averse to the stinging in uh, alcohol splashes. And, and I would say two things to that. Number one, it shouldn't be burning that much. Now, maybe your skin is a little more sensitive than mine, but if it's burning that much, you might be shaving a little rough or too closely or going too hard. That's number one. And number two, if it is bothering you that much, you can always spray yourself a little witch hazel in there or use a little witch hazel prior to it and it will take some of the zip out of it, I'm imagining. And so those are some ways just to work around. But if it's setting you on fire to the point where it's extremely comfortable, either your face is very sensitive or you're going a little rough uh, in your shaves and maybe, you know, uh, work on the technique a little bit to tone that down a little bit. Because even if I don't use witch hazel, it will not set me on fire. And I'm not saying I'm not uh, a tough guy or anything like that. You know what I mean? If it burns, I'll tell you. But it doesn't burn that much. Like, you know, Macaulay Coughlin in Home Alone when he slaps the aftershave on. He's like, ah! That's how some of the guys are. And I'm like, it doesn't burn that much. Come on. <laughs> but I'm also open to the possibility that some people, their skin is just more sensitive. And maybe they get the sensation of burning. So there's that, but there are ways to sort of mitigate that. That way we can all have things that we love. We can have the traditional alcohol splash in, and uh, people can use that. Just, you know, put a little witch hazel in it, if you please, in your hand when you're applying, and that should, you know, take some of the zip out. And also, you could follow up that, that bomb, that skin elixir, and all the other potions and stuff that they have out there. We, there's a place for everything, is what I'm saying here, but let's, Let's try to hold on to a little bit of tradition here. That's what I'm saying today. All right, soap is fantastic. I have to say, um, overall quality of soap, I'd give it a five. I don't think it's lacking anything. I am impressed. It's rarely that I use a soap, it's rare, I should say, that I use a soap for the first time and it impresses me um, like this one has. I, it's a, it was a little soft in consistency and I was worried that I might have to go back and add product, but I did not. Um, I nailed it, you know, on the first try, and it's not lacking slickness. If you believe in cushion, cushion, glide, and you know my feelings about cushion. Um, and this is my perspective, and again, yours can vary, is what protects you is are your hands, you know, this, and what's between your ears, meaning your brain, your ability to control your hands. And that's what gives you protection, because I promise you, if you do something wrong with this razor, like if you go this way when it's oriented this way, there's no amount of soap that will protect you from bad technique. There's no amount of soap that will protect you from bad technique. If you do the wrong things, if you go too hard, you will cut or nick yourself. There's no question about it. The soap will not protect you from that. What it will do is allow the razor to glide and not skip and things like that. So it affords some protection insofar as if you get it slick, it's gonna allow the razor to glide. And that's what you're looking for. You're not looking for a barrier that holds the razor off your face because you want that blade to get in close and cut closely. You're not looking for a cushion to push it out. You're looking for a glide to make it go smooth without stopping, without skipping. But make no mistake, I could build lather from the floor to the ceiling here and I could drop that razor and it would go completely through it. It's not gonna stop it. So that's my feeling. And again, you're free to disagree if you please. But the goal is to get a nice slick lather and to have some consistency in the lather and to make sure that that razor glides just like this one is right here. But I tell you right now, if I do something wrong when I'm shaving, it's not going to protect me. So what will protect you is you <laughs> and your ability to wield your equipment and knowing, um, like for example, you'll notice I never go from east to west on my neck because that will be weeper city. It just does not work. It never has, and I learned that early on. That's why I say it's it's between your ears, you know, meaning your brain. You have to learn. Your knowledge uh, will build over time, and you will understand exactly what your use case is. 
and you will be afforded protection via that knowledge. Oh man, that is nice. Wow. What a pleasant shave today. Anyway, just keep that in mind today. Don't expect the soap to protect you. It will offer some protection, but it's not going to protect you. I know that sounds funny, but that's my philosophy on it. And, and again, you're free to disagree. And I know some people do. And that's entirely okay. That's entirely okay. But man, oh man, we don't need a lot of protection today because this stuff is fantastic. I love the scent of this. This is awesome. And I've been yapping a lot today. So I think this video is maybe going a little bit longer than normal. But I tell you what, I've enjoyed myself so much that I don't even mind it. And I hope you don't either. It's Monday or it will be for you today, Sunday for me. I record these a day ahead. And uh, there's nothing like starting your day with a great shave. Man, oh man, what fun. Woo! <laughs> My shave today. All right, uh, let me rinse, then we'll come back and get into the post. Stay tuned. And all right, we are back, and off cam we did a rinse to get rid of the soap, and then we applied our PAA alum, and after applying the alum, there was no stinging, so super smooth shave, no nicks, cuts, creepers, weepers, irritation, bubbles, or troubles. Very nice indeed. Following the alum, we did another rinse, and then we towed off with our Lancaster towel, prior to using the magic made by witches, Thayer's Witch Hazel Cucumber. I had an excellent shave today with Hag's Conclusion, and I really enjoyed the scent a lot. I'll run down the scores for you. Cost, two out of five. Scent quality, five out of five. Scent strength, four out of five. Ease of use, five out of five. Overall quality, five out of five. And that brings us to a total score of 21 out of 25. This was very, very good. I love the scent. I love the quality of the soap. I just really had a good run with this today, and I think it's certainly worth checking out if you've never tried a Hag soap. I enjoyed it a lot. Really, really fantastic. Uh, today, I think I forgot to mention, we used our PAA Switchback um, 400, I think it is, brush, and it's in our Lancaster Razor Works brush soaking mug. We used our HCNC bowl, and of course the Carve Christopher Bradley razor, and this is the F plate with the open comb, very nice razor. I had a nice smooth ride with that. Gillette Nasset is the blade, and we're gonna finish things off today with Fine Platinum, which I've been working on every single day, and we're gonna continue to do that. We're sort of uh, trying to kill this one in the wet the face, the quiet man, with their, which are both Creed scents, and man, that feels great. What a nice shave it was today, and I hope wherever you are, you have an amazing shave, an amazing day as well. Thank you so much for joining me. Until next time, I've been your host, CDB, reminding you, it's your shave, do it your way, and as always, God bless.